Today, Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon called for an investigation after a second whistleblower was fired from the cleanup at the Hanford Nuclear Reservation in Washington State. We first spoke with her last year when she raised concerns about the project. Hanford is filled with radioactive waste from building nuclear bombs. Here's Carter Evans. For the last five years, Donna Bushy was manager of environmental and nuclear safety at the Hanford Nuclear Reservation. She was fired on Tuesday. I think they were retaliating against me for uh, the, my ongoing outspokenness. In 2010, she warned supervisors and regulators about design flaws that she says could lead to a radioactive explosion at Hanford. The $13 billion government project will dispose of 53 million gallons of nuclear waste. Bushy worked for subcontractor URS. The senior URS manager told me, uh, with no introduction, that um, I had behaved unprofessionally or had professional misconduct and I was terminated for cause. When you got your walking papers, were you surprised? Shocked. We spoke with Walter Tamasitis shortly after he was fired last fall. The nuclear engineer told Congress in 2011 about the risks at Hanford. Construction was halted because of safety concerns. Yes, sir. The safety concerns that you raised. Yes, sir. Tamasitis said URS told him he was fired due to cutbacks. URS declined our request for an interview, but in a statement said, URS encourages its employees to raise concerns about safety. The company claims there was no retaliation, and Ms. Bushy's employment was terminated due to issues unrelated to her purported concerns. Summarily removing me from the project sends a, a clear and present message to the employees that if you speak up, if you stand up, you will be terminated. She's now planning a wrongful termination suit. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.